Hello there, welcome to Jensen Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and welcome to this aftermarket kits review. We're going to be taking a look at Eddard's 148 scale, the Spitfire Mark I cockpit. Right, the Spitfire Mark I um, by Eddard 148 scale, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous kit, and we have an absolutely gorgeous um, cockpit if you really want to go to town on it. So let's open this up. Now, you do get a lot of very sort of delicate, really gorgeous. Um, resin with this photo etch the work so let's just get a few of these out and just sort of show you our cockpit wall to start with and hopefully as you can see absolutely gorgeous detail going on in there absolute really sort of fine um wafer fin detail as well i mean you might be able to see the light shining through our um resin just here that's how fine this is right lovely lovely detail going on in there uh, we have um, all our instrument display panels that are on here as well um, in all honesty you do get photo etch with this so you've got this option of choosing you know this is probably blanked out for using the photo etch that comes with this or you can paint it depending on how you want to go about it um, but there's just loads of gorgeous detail again we've got some bulkhead detail just here um, admittedly you've got a sort of and um, you can just see like the fine bits of resin like a wafer fin Ooh, let's get you to focus these little holes slight little drill out just to get rid of that bit of flash shall we say and this big piece of flash is there but no big deal it is photo etch at the end of the day um, got all sorts of little pieces going on with this and um, what's this this is our door as well again you can see all that recessed is it recessed or raised rivets and and stuff going on in there again very very fine detail now there's lots and lots of bits there i'll go over them later but we have some more just in here i think we have like our seat and everything all right slightly different colored um resin here as well we have the bottom part of our cockpit section there again absolutely gorgeous detail in there nice recessed rivets um, we have our seat as well right again lovely detail going on there and around the sides and on the back as well um, actually we've got two seats in here um, possibly looking at two different types maybe right which is quite cool it looks like we've got some different versions that come with this again lots of little bits there um, pretty good same sort of standard we then have a nice bit of photo it admittedly maybe the box could have done with being a little bit bigger because it has slightly curved a little bit which is not exactly what you want to see but let's get this out and let's have a look right because we've got a bag full of photo etch as well so as you saw with the resin right you could have the resin instrument display panel and um, paint it but you can also go off and actually use the photo etch which is the nice updated photo etch with all that nice glass for our dials and everything we have our seat belts as well it's all in color where it's due right looking pretty damn good and we should have a really nice bit of cockpit from that so rather rather cool we've also got in the bag as well we have um, the decals for the instrument display dials and stuff as well so they really do give you that option if you wanted to sort of go um all resin or you wanted to go photo etch um, um, add the photo etch um, instrument display panel and all that sort of stuff you even get those um, really nice bits of thin pieces of um, clear um, plastic card going on there to sort of like do your um, it's not the heads up display but like um, other stuff like that the instructions I'll show you in a sec actually with the instructions big instructions sheet just here if we can just move this out the way so just unfolded our instructions just here and it sort of shows you it sort of built and how much detail and everything that's going on there pretty much a full cockpit right totally replacing um all the stuff in the kit itself so looking at this yes it does show you um typical sort of 
EDARD type instructions with the instrument display panel. Um, it is giving you the showing you like you can do the decals, right, and how it all goes together. Looks a, you know a little bit complicated, but it does look like it gets you there nicely in the end. Um, it's kind of strange how there's one sheet, it's almost like a booklet, but it's not technically a booklet, so I've got to try and work out where it wants us to go at this point. So we've got from C to D, uh, which is showing you building um, the seats together as well, um, even the odd little decal here and there that might be going around, and let's just see where it wants me to go now. Um, actually, this is looking very, very confusing in all honesty, I'm going to have to cut away and work this out. Uh, just had a kind of a quick sort of look over it, and I've made a bit of a meal with it, it's sort of going all over the place. But yeah, it sort of has letters, like you okay, you got late version and the early version, which is nice that you've kind of got those options with this, but then it goes C, which then takes you over to these, so C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, so you do that one, um, but then it's sort of like you're going one, two, three here, um, which then, it's got four, five, six. I mean, the way they've sort of laid it out in what order you do stuff is up in the air. Um, not very good on that sense. But I mean, if you do sort of look at it, you sort of follow maybe the letters first from what I'm sort of gathering. You'll have your instrument display panels built up and your seats built up and your walls built up, right? And then you kind of go off and then start following the numbers by the looks of it. Um, yeah, as I say, pretty sort of confusing, but it, it will sort of get you there. You just gotta kind of, um, I think follow the letters, then the numbers is, is seems to be what it is. And it doesn't all fold up into a booklet, so you've gotta sort of work it out. It, it's a bit of a pain, but it does seem to be all there to get you there you've just got to probably really sort of study these instructions that's probably the biggest downfall on this to be honest with you um, this was new tooled in 2020 so fairly fairly new um, it is rrp'd at 21 pounds 99 it is a bit expensive you know i mean if you're kind of going to want to do one of these things you are sort of like maybe sort of trying to enter a tournament a competition or you just really want to sort of make a absolutely gorgeous you know supreme spitfire um but yeah it is going to cost you a bit buying this i mean it's almost the same price as buying the kit in all honesty i mean just as a bit of maybe a bit of a money saving tip as well you know if you're going to get this cockpit you're going to have the cockpit you're going to have you know all this photo etch and everything um i do believe like you know the um probably pack editions will come with photo etch but you don't need it so maybe go for a weekend edition spitfire mark one by edard and get this just to save a little bit of extra money apart from the instructions it does look absolutely gorgeous it's gonna be an absolutely amazing one i did do the spitfire mark 9 cockpit and that was absolutely gorgeous the fit as well on the spitfire mark 9 was also gorgeous very little to kind of like sand and trim here and there to get it to fit they edar does normally get their cockpits to fit rather rather nicely so fingers crossed this should go together and go in to your spitfire mark one nicely without any major issues so yeah apart from the instructions as i say and you know maybe the price but then as i say if you're going to do something like this you're going to be um you know really going for a nice spitfire so yeah Big thumbs up here at Genesis Models. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this and it sort of helps you decide whether you want to get this um, aftermarket part to go on your Spitfire. But other than that, my name is Bobby Waldron. This is Genesis Models and I'll catch you later.